Stuart, a big win for the club there tonight. What were your thoughts on that? Yeah, I just felt that the players delivered almost to a T everything that we'd asked of them. We set out a game plan. We tried to play in a very similar fashion to St Mirren play. You know, the system for one, but also how you approach the system. Um, and listen, from my own personal point of view, you come up with the idea. The little nervous energy, I suppose, that comes from, from myself is in that opening sort of 10 or 15 minutes, you, you want to see whether it's actually going to work. And, and, and I kind of found out early in the game that you know we were we were going to match up well and we were going to pose them problems but also defensively I thought that we looked we looked strong they didn't have too many opportunities in the game um, so yeah feeding off that energy that comes from that sort of 10 or 15 minutes um, because they've been doing it all season as well Scott you know they've they, they've been playing that way and they've been good at it and it's got them into a good position in the league um, but as I say it was a good foundation for us both defensively but also giving us those two players up the park which I, I thought were a handful throughout and then Jack Aitchison coming on added to that as well. It's been well documented our home run hasn't been great this season how important was it to get the monkey off the back as it were and get that win under our belt here? Really important because I think you have to whatever happens in the next 13 games you have to have something to feed off of um, and I always think it starts with your home form you know if you pick up points on the road in this league with how difficult it is then uh, then that's great but I think when, when teams come here and, and I touched on it with the players before the game as in coming here as a coach or a manager or a player in the past you had to earn absolutely everything that you get and, and that was kind of the mindset that was kind of how I tried to set it up tonight that was what I was asking of the players um, and I think that the St Mirren players will go away tonight knowing that they've been in a proper game of football and they'll be disappointed at losing the game but that was you know they'll be battered and bruised in there as well at times is it is it pretty pictures no but sometimes when you're in this situation that's maybe what's required only two training sessions with the team this week given the news that Stephen Amell had left you spoke openly about how important it was that everyone was together there tonight do you think you've seen that in abundance yeah yeah I think I think we did um, the early indications were good Monday Tuesday um, trying to get as much information into the players of how we were going to play trying to get there as early as we can as well with clarity on who was playing and, and, and what system that would be and how we would approach the game um, they were great the players were excellent Monday Tuesday um, but as we kept saying as well I'm just uh, I'm reiterating the message that was given to the players the proof is in the pudding it's, it's when we get out here on Wednesday night 7.45 how do you approach it mentally how do you approach it physically and, and it was it was nice to see one or two running through some pain and some uh, some knocks and niggles and we managed to get an extra sort of five or ten minutes out of guys that maybe could have come off slightly early but um, that's part and parcel it you're, you're going to have to go through those hard yards and those difficult moments in games um, but as I say I don't think St Mirren causes an awful lot of problems at times I thought that again we'll look back on it their goal for me um, I thought it should have been brought back for a foul early in the move down that side but it was maybe the one point in the game that we were disjointed and if and if you stretch it back playing against this St Mirren team that's a good scenario for us to be in not to be overly stretched in, in 94 minutes of football it's a win, but how important is it to tell the players that that's all it is? It's just one win, and we've still got 13 more cup finals, as it were, for the rest of the season. <coughs> yeah, I've I, I've said exactly that, Scott. I've just said that to the players in there. It's it's a good feeling to win a game of football and to get three points and feel like you've earned it as well. You know that sometimes that one goal deficit is the best way to win a game for me to to, to show our togetherness and and realise how hard you fought. Um, but that was that was the last message that that this is one one game uh, essentially, and what we bring from now to. Uh, 13 games time is, is going to define the season um, what's happened before you can't you can't rectify you can't change but as I said to the players in there the next 13 games can define your season and it will define your season one way or another um, but I think that that foundation tonight would give them a chance Thanks Stuart very well done